Hello friends, we are going to st uh, study today the reduction formulas. So first reduction formula that we are going to study is integration of sin raised to nx dx. So this basically reduction formulas are very important in engineering mathematics. So uh, first reduction formula is integration of sin raised to nx dx is equals to minus sin raised to n minus 1x cos x upon n plus n minus 1 upon n integration of sin raised to n minus 2x dx. So let's prove this formula. So let's start with the left hand side that is integration of sin raised to nx dx. So I am calling this integration to be i n. So what we will do initially is I will break this power n into two parts that is n minus 1 and 1. So if you look at this properly I have written this n minus 1 as uh, n as n minus 1 and 1. Now to this integration we will apply the integration by parts. So integration by parts is we will call this as first function and this as a second function. So let's take sin this to n minus 1 x as first function and sin x as a second function. So by integration integration by parts we get sin this to n minus 1 x as it is integration of sin x is minus cos x minus integration of derivative of the first function. So let's find out the derivative of first function. It is n minus 1 into sin this to n minus 2 x into the derivative of sin x is cos x. So you have to find out the derivative of sin this to n minus 1 x very carefully into integration of sin x is minus cos x then dx. Now whatever we have written here you just simplify this. So I'll write here the reason using the integration by parts. So whatever we have written here we will just simplify it. So here this is nothing but minus cos x sin this to n minus 1 x. Then this minus sign and this minus sign will become plus. I'll pull this n minus 1 outside. In the integration I'm left with this sin this to n minus 2 x. Then cos x into cos x will be cos square x dx. Now the next step is you have to write the first term as it is. We will not touch this anymore. Then plus n minus 1 integration of sin this to n minus 2 x. Instead of cos square what you do is you replace cos square by 1 minus sin square x dx. So this is by using the trigonometric identity that we have that is sin square plus cos square is equals to 1. So I have replaced cos square by 1 minus sin square. Now here what you do is you just open the brackets. So we are left with here sorry sin raised to n minus 1 x plus open the brackets and separate this integration sign after opening. So I am directly writing the step. So we have here n minus 1 integration. So sin raised to n minus 2 x into 1 is sin raised to n minus 2 x dx. Then we are here with minus sign n minus 1. Then sin raised to n minus 2 x into sin square is basically sin raised to n x dx. Okay. Now you just look at the carefully. This integration is nothing but you are this integration is nothing but your i n minus 2 because we are calling i n is equals to sin raised to n x dx. So here this is your i n minus 2 and this is nothing but your i n. So if you see on the left hand side we have here i n. So what we will do is we will transfer this i n term on the left hand side. So first of all what you do is you just rewrite everything in terms of i n. So we, we have here minus cos x sin raised to n minus 1 x plus n minus 1. So this integration I am replacing this by using the notation. So we have used the notation i n. So instead of this I am writing i n minus 2 minus n minus 1 i n. 
so what we will do we will transfer everything which is in terms of ion on the left hand side so here we have one ion i have transferred this entire term to the left hand side so we have here plus n minus 1 times ion on the right hand side we are left with this term so cos x sin raised to n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 i n minus 2 so just simplify the term which is there on the left hand side so i n plus n minus 1 times i n is basically n times i n is equals to minus cos x sin raised to n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 i n minus 2 so what you do is you just shift this n on the right hand side so basically you divide both side by n so we get i n is equals to minus cos x sin raised to n minus 1 x upon n plus n minus 1 upon n i n minus 2. So this proves our reduction formula number 1. We will put the pdf of this uh, entire proof in the description. So kindly stay tuned for the more videos on the reduction formula.